Get the thoughts then of Andrew Pearce and Kevin Maguire. Um, and do you want to start with the metro, the situation in Syria? It, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Vladimir Putin, because he he, he runs uh, Russia, it's a one-man state, uh, and the parliament does what he wants, is now uh, bombing, uh, bombing in Syria. But he's not bombing the Islamic State, he's bombing the rebels who are fighting Assad. And of course Assad has used chemical weapons and barrel bombs against his own, own people. It's part of the reason that so many have fled and are, are refugees. But it is this escalation, it's becoming a Cold War battleground, because of course the Americans are bombing too, as the French are. Um, some in Britain, uh, David Cameron certainly wants to get involved too. And I would have, I would have thought this is, this is bad for Syria, it's an escalation for it, but I would have thought it's another reason why Britain shouldn't get involved militarily. It, 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 this guy has still run rings around uh, Obama, hasn't he? Uh, the Americans only had an hour's notice that the bombing was going to start. It's the biggest military intervention by Russia in the Middle East for decades. But I think Obama's got a lot of himself, to, to, he's brought a lot of this on himself. He said there was a red line in Syria. If Assad used chemical weapons against his people, mm -hmm. he would intervene militarily, and he didn't. So this guy has stepped in and filled the vacuum. But then, and it, then he saw what happened in the vote in Parliament, didn't it, he? The, it, in Parliament it, in the Britain, UK. Right, of course. Yeah. Congress, it's yeah. Hollywood, Obama Con and Israel. Exactly, but, but he's president of the United tracks. States. He, he didn't have to, to, to stop it, but he did. And this guy stepped into the breach in helping Assad. And we don't know who he's bombing, who he's killing, mm. but... Um, uh, as you say, the suggestion is but, but, that it's um, the wrong people. But, but uh, for a long time, the, Russia and the Soviet Union in its day had close ties mm. with Syria. There are Russian naval bases, air force bases in Syria. And one of the... Uh, yeah, if we'd, if we'd have bombed two years ago, mm. we would have been unintentionally the jihadis' air force because we'd have been attacking Assad, who is the enemy of the Islamic State. Now Cameron wants to bomb the Islamic State, who are the enemy of, it, it might of make Assad. That, it it is, might make that less likely yeah. now, because this, yeah. is, this is a complicating factor. This has made the civil war in Syria far more complicated. And, and so what is the UK's position currently is that we carry out reconnaissance missions? Well, we bomb in, we bomb in, bomb in, we bomb in Iraq. But we don't bomb in we Iraq. Used, we've used drones, and mm. some British pilots have flown other aircraft and dropped bombs in Syria, so but not British planes. Yeah. Okay. But we know that, that Cameron did, until just now, with Russia, yeah. want to actually bomb ISIS positions in Syria. So, 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 so despite uh, Parliament uh, not giving Cameron any authority for British military action in Syria, he's killing people with drones and he's allowing pilots... Yes, he's killing horrible, he's, disgusting he's allowing, terrorists. He's allowing pilots to fly, yeah. to fly yeah. with the Americans in Syria. Yeah. And also, of course, there are almost certainly boots yeah. on the ground and special yeah. forces yeah. if the yeah. stories coming and, back and, in the media. But just, just to remind ourselves, if the, the drones have been killing horrible, disgusting, mm bloodthirsty terrorists. But Good the end riddance. result of all of this and the end result of the UN General yeah. Assembly where Putin and Obama met mm -hmm. is that nobody has a solution to the Syrian crisis. No. The migrants will continue to flee yeah. Yeah. and ISIS or IS will continue to thrive. Is that is that what, It, it is could that well be, or? unless unless of course he actually manages to hit some ISIS positions it, as opposed to the rebel positions. It, in, Which in he may the, go on to do. Yeah, yeah he might. In, in the end you're going to need a, a political settlement between the sides now. The Islamic State is probably almost impossible yeah. to include them, yeah. but it should be the, the opposition and Assad should be able to reach some sort of accord. It's probably not going to satisfy either, but they should. And of course, Assad started all this when people quite rightly were just protesting for democracy and prosperity, and he, and he reacted the way his, his father uh, had in, in the past, and he, and he started mowing them it, down. It, it was once optimistically of, called the Arab Spring. Do you well, remember? Yeah. Well, it was a fant and it was a fantastic uh, country to go to, um, Syria. I went shortly before all this uh, all this started, and the people are incredibly friendly, hospitable, mm. and it just breaks your heart. And I think uh, what they're enduring, what's been inflicted on them. Mm. Now you're sounding a bit throaty, and maybe a little bit tired because he was at a, 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 he was at a club last <laughs> night called <laughs> Revolution, quite appropriate for the Daily Mirror's party in uh, Brighton. Revolution, because we're, we're having a revolution, but it's yeah. not the revolution we can't anticipate. <coughs> it's a shadow cabinet revolution against Comrade Corbyn, Comrade Clot, who went on the radio and said he would never use the nuclear deterrent. Insurrection, mutiny, rebellion. The shadow defence secretary says very unhelpful. Her twin sister says not very helpful. The, 
Andy Byrne and the Shadow Homes. It says he might not be able to stay in the Shadow Cabinet. It's completely unravelled. What, what it, but apparently this is called the new politics. The new politics is series of very high-profile Labour lead figures attack their leader in public. That's what the new politics is all about, Jezza. Right. Not some new <laughs> clever way of doing it with young people. It's a disaster, I, I, new I, politics. I suspect when Comrade Corbyn wanted more debate, this isn't quite what he had <laughs> in... You started calling him Comrade Corbyn. Yeah, had him, uh, had him, no, good Bolshevik I, 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 will be next. No, uh, I don't think the old a, trot. I don't think he is a Bolshevik. But anyway... <laughs> So it's just a bit of an idiot. I, I, he wouldn't have been a Menshevik either, but nevertheless. But, but, but he, you know, what I find odd in this button pressing argument is how somehow the odd person, the mad person, the crazy guy, is the bloke who wouldn't murder millions of men, women, and children, innocent civilians, people who so, have nothing to do with it. Well, that's that's and three yet, quarters of his shadow cabinet and, and yet, who don't agree and, and with yet them. The, and yet the sane people are those who are happily say, yep. I had to eviscerate them. There we are. Yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd bring Armageddon. But, yeah. Doomsday. <laughs> but Kevin, They're there is no same. point. Come the on, the Labour the Party's position. position is to retain, at the moment, the nuclear deterrent. Yeah. There is no point having a nuclear deterrent if you're saying your leader, under no circumstances, will ever use it. It is a ridiculous policy look, position. Look, there's 195 countries in the world. Only nine have nuclear weapons. Where we're one of them with, with what, France, Russia, um, China. India, Pakistan, Israel, the US and North Korea. Nine. The other 186 manage quite well mm. without nuclear yeah. w weapons. It's not the party's position, I Kevin. Think, yeah, but he's, I, he's I, also, you know, he's, he's ordered a review. Yeah. You know, yeah. his shadow defence secretary says it kind of undermines my review now, doesn't yeah. it? So two no. questions for you then. One, do you think Labour should pull back and, and we get rid of Trident and, and Britain is no longer a nuclear power? And two, when you hear conference singing, keep the red flag flying, do you, do you feel proud? What? So, so, do you want, do you, I mean, it was, so, he was joining was, in. Didn't you hear him singing at the back? I saw, I saw what, that croaky one at the back. Blair, wasn't it? You thought that croaky one at the back was Maria Eagle. I, no, I, it was, Je it was um, Kevin I'll McGuire. Be honest, I, I know the words of the red flag, but I don't know the <laughs> national anthem. Of course he does. Of course but, he does. But, but on, your, on, your, on the, other, the other question you ask, on, uh, on Trident, uh, the SNP are against Trident, the Greens are against Trident. Oh, that the makes Dems, a big difference, the Greens. The Lib, the Lib Dems oh. are against renewing Trident, although they have a, a cheaper form of uh, uh, nuclear weapons. So should, Labour, Britain, so should Labour's review say, right, let's just get rid, and that, that will be party policy? Well, well I, I'm a unilateralist, have been all, all the way through. Typical. I'm not, Labour's review will depend on who does it, who you have on the committee, <laughs> and, it, and it is a fact uh, that in the shadow cabinet, most members would keep it. In fact, Cor Corbyn, the Corbynites, there's only four out of 31, and I suspect the others... Yeah. New politics, they would, it's called. In the, um, new yeah. politics, I think, I think most, new way of doing most, business. Most Labour MPs would vote to, uh, <laughs> to, to keep Trident. I think most of the members, by the very fact only 7% voted yeah. to discuss it it's like a circus. Suggests they, they would. But no, you've got to have it's this like debate. A, it's like but a circus. It's, amazing, it's a £100 billion waste of money on an immoral yeah. weapon that you couldn't use. Yeah. It's an appeal policy for the young, you anyway. You couldn't. It? You couldn't yeah. use it. Yeah. And what's bizarre is your lot, you've, you've left the army at its smallest Listen, since the Boer War. This isn't War. about the Tories, you've Kevin. This is ships, about the leader of the opposition utterly isolating himself within his own yeah. shadow cabinet. Yeah. So many of the shadow cabinet have wheeled out today to say they utterly disagree. You, you just, it's the new politics. You, I think it's a fascinating you just way see, to run. A, I mean, is this, is this, you just this is how he's going to run the country. You just see God. Trident as a big piece. This is a man, this is a man who is not in control of his yeah. own party. No, he's not. And, and, he, and in his speech, not. which I have to say is one of the worst I've ever heard from a Labour leader. He says that about ever. every no, no, Tony leader Blair, speech. Tony Blair made some rather good speeches. You never actually, said that at the time. The Cross War speech was a brilliant speech. <laughs> this is a man who didn't bother to mention the general election in his speech. The only election he thought was important was his one. Because he got 150,000 new uh, lefty members. Hey. Yeah, he's got to stop talking to Tory them boy, leave and it out. start talking to the country. Because he's not. And the more of this that we see, this, this, is, this is a more, shambles that can... How much longer can it go on, McGuire? More, more people voted for Jeremy Corbyn. The Tory party has members. Next week yeah. in Manchester, yeah. Yeah. on the Sunday yeah. and Monday, yeah. you will see the bigger political yeah. events. Those that have more people yeah. attending will be a TUC demonstration yeah. Yeah. on the Sunday yeah. against austerity. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And a meeting I happened to be chairing Kevin, with Jeremy Corbyn on a, the Monday night in a, Manchester. There was a general election which he chose not to mention because mm. two million more people voted for the Tories than his lot.
Mm. No, you you won. And he didn't think you he won, didn't think it was won, important the, enough to make. You, you had a you had a fluke. You had a fluke. You win. There was no fluky doubt about win that. Now. Of course, it was a fluke. You win. Uh, you know it was full fluky. coverage of uh, Manchester, of course, next week. Uh, mm. But in the meantime. <laughs> Hello there, in just a moment, the press preview as we take a look at the morning newspapers. But first, our top stories. Russia and the US have agreed to hold military talks as soon as possible after Russian planes bombed rebel positions in Syria. America has said the airstrikes are dangerous and doomed to fail. The governor of Oklahoma has stayed the execution of Richard Glossip for more than a month over concerns about the drugs to be used. He'd been about an hour away from death after the US Supreme Court refused to intervene. And Jeremy Corbyn has caused confusion about Labour's policy on nuclear weapons by saying he would never press the button if he was Prime Minister. <clears throat> Hello there, you're watching Sky News and the Press Preview. In the next half hour, we'll be seeing what's making the headlines with the consultant editor of the Daily Mail, Andrew Pearce, and the Daily Mirror's associate editor, Kevin Maguire. Evening, Anna. Evening. Front pages, though, first of all, the Metro leads with Russia's airstrikes on Syria, which it says have angered the US government. The Times also leading with that story. The White House, it says, uh, saying the raids risk pouring gasoline on the situation in Syria. The Guardian described the action as a dramatic escalation of the war, with the airstrikes mainly appearing to hit groups fighting against the Assad regime. The Eye says the Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn faces a backlash from his shadow cabinet over his position on renewing Trident. An independent motoring organisation has discovered massive levels of pollution are being emitted by diesel vehicles following new tests. That's according to The Independent. The Daily Telegraph reveals former MPs will be banned from working as paid lobbyists for six months after stepping down. The Daily Mail says three Libyan men jailed for molesting women are now seeking asylum in the UK. The Daily Mirror says a former Tory peer has been charged with false accounting over his expense allowance claims. The Financial Times reports the Digital Economy Minister, Ed Vasey, has angered telecoms companies after pouring cold water on the idea of separating BT from its broadband network. The Sun calls for guidelines on speed cameras to be reinstated after they were scrapped by the government. And the Daily Express says we are all living longer, with the number of Britons reaching the age of 100 quadrupling in the past 30 years. Nearly 15,000 Britons are now over 100 years old. Not us, not yet. No, I mean, although you look like it. To go. Well, I'd like to join them though when I get that end. It'd be yeah. disappointing to fall just, off your porch. I'm just before. saying you look like it after partying late into the night no. at the Labour Party. <laughs> Do you know where he was last night in a club called Revolution? How appropriate. We will, come, we will come to matters of the Labour Party yes. uh, in a moment. But first of all, let's start with Syria. The intervention of Russia in terms of airstrikes, consternation from uh, many other parts of the world. No, absolutely, and uh, you know the Guardian's right. It's raised the stakes. It's raised the stakes a long, long way. Russia and Syria have a very close relationship, or the, mm -hmm. um, the Assad regime and, and, and the Russians, and they have uh, naval bases, air bases. Photographs have been emerging of them sending in equipment, um, missiles, also very advanced fighting vehicles, and. Now flying, hitting, uh, doing the bombing for Assad is, is a huge escalation because as the Americans are, are, are bombing uh, the, uh, the Islamists, the Islamic State, it does look like Putin now is, is bombing the, the enemies of uh, Assad who uh, free Syrian army and others. So it's, it's a complete, not a mess, but I do, I do think it's a warning for Britain not to get involved in this because it would... The, you know, the, the outcome of this, you do not know what's going to happen, but, you, but get, you get sucked in, you'll never get out. Russia is no fan of Islamic extremism. It has its own yeah. problems, doesn't it, in the Caucasus and elsewhere. So why not just bomb Islamic State on the well, first sorties well, and then everyone turns their attention mm, away from you? you? You just don't know with Putin, do you? But the, I do think here, though, we have to criticise Obama because Putin has stepped into the vacuum, filled by, left by Obama, who said there was a red line which, if Assad crossed it, he would use military intervention, and that was when Assad, if Assad used chemical weapons against mm. his own people, which he did, and he then took fright after the Commons voted against it here, mm. Assad, uh, Obama felt he couldn't go ahead with it. He's the mm. leader of the Western world. He's the president of the United States, for God's sake. It was a big mistake, and now, of course... But was it a big mistake, well, it, it, given the rise of well, IS? It, well, actually, actually, you go back two years, and the, the vote in the House of uh, Commons, uh, Ed Miliband's probably his finest moment as, as, la is Labour, decent, as, la as Labour leader, when he, uh, he, he opposed uh, bombing in Syria, mm. and that meant the Americans didn't do it as well because uh, Obama was afraid he couldn't get it through Congress. 
If back then the US and Britain had been bombing, it would have been bombing Assad, who is fighting the Islamic State, is the Islamic State's um, enemy. Mm -hmm. So we'd have been completely on the wrong side, or we'd have been with the jihadis. Now, you, Assad himself is partly responsible for why you know, people are dying and the refugee crisis because these barrel bombs and chemical weapons he's killing his own people too but I mean, it's, it's the sort of scenario that if you were studying international mm, diplomacy you yeah. would you would study this to work out what jigsaw pattern you could do yeah, to find yeah. a solution and there isn't a solution no, and, and and the russian involvement has made this very and you, complicated yeah. civil war far more complicated and, and you keep the more the more people you kill the worse it's going to get but putin's flexing his muscle his muscles mm. we saw what happened in crimea and in the ukraine and this is like an old cold war uh, confrontation did we, did we get any nearer at the UN General Assembly, uh, President Putin saying that actually President Assad would be there for a transitional period mm. and then would leave. Is that yeah. is that is that ultimately the way forward? Do you think? I suspect it is. Yeah. You, you you need a political accommodation of some some sort. But, but sadly, the people you'd probably need involved in the accommodation are, the, uh, are those the Russians are now bombing. Um, you, the Islamic State are unlikely to be uh, to be involved because they're not going to stop. I don't think they respond <laughs> to diplomatic fanatics. entreaties. No, do they? no, they're, they're chopping different... people's heads off and burying but, children alive. But you want a you want a you want a settlement, but you just think this is not going to help get it. Mm. Um, so Labour then, uh, where, where, do, where do we start? <laughs> well, uh, I'm um, going to go to the front page of yes. the Eye first. Of the beginning, all. middle, but and end know, are well, all yes, interesting. So, so we've heard so much talk, haven't we, this week of new politics? <laughs> we do things differently now, says Jeremy Corbyn. Yes, you. Do. What you do is you get a procession of shadow cabinet ministers to publicly repudiate Comrade Corbyn over his inexplicable position. So they, he's launched a review into Trident, and yet he's announced today on the radio under no circumstances would he ever use the nuclear deterrent. So what's the point of having one? So this is not the position of the Labour Party. It's certainly not the position of the trade unions. Uh, Unite want to keep the Trident. Uh, uh, for the jobs. Uh, for the jobs. Uh, they don't but, want to press the button and but, use but it. This, so he's been, <laughs> he's been con contracted by the Shadow Defence Secretary, the Shadow Business Secretary, Andy Burnham, the Shadow Home Secretary, talking about can he even stay in the Shadow Cabinet if Comrade Corbyn carries on in this mad he, unilateralist he's way. He's sitting there thinking, why is this a news story? I'm reiterating my yeah. long-held yeah. position. Yeah. on Trident Which and the nuclear button. So uh, why yeah. is it a yeah. new story Utterly, then? Because, uh, because it's because utterly at odds with his own party. No, he got it's the because he's leader of the Labour yeah. Party now, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> and also, remember, this story. man got the support of barely 20 MPs in, his part, in the, in the uh, leadership of. election, 232. Uh, he's got the support, and all he keeps talking about is the election he won with all the 150,000 young people who have backed him were terribly excited. In his speech, which was rubbish, badly delivered, <sighs> poor, badly constructed. He didn't even talk about the general election where 30 million people voted. All he talks about is the leadership election where 250,000 people hey, look, voted. Look. He yeah. thinks that's the most important election, the one that brought him to the fore of the Labour Party. Look. He's utterly clueless. It, it, he didn't talk about immigration either, or the deficit, because Labour leaders don't talk about that. Look, it, Having had a major role in causing both of them. It, it, instead of spending 100 billion on Trident, we just send you to drone on and bore opponents of Britain to death. Okay. So, uh, what, what's the Labour perspective on this? Right. Thing? First of all, I think. The current don't one. Don't laugh. What's the current one? The people. No, <laughs> or the one of an hour ago. I think, I think the people we should be concerned about are those politicians who say they would, uh, they would murder <laughs> millions of people by pressing the button. Well, that's three quarters and, of and, and, and launching it. Yeah, but they're the ones we should be worried about, not those whether but it's, 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 it's Corbyn, Nicola Sturgeon. It's or, not a deterrent. If, if you won't you, use you, it. If you won't use it, absolutely. No, you're quite right. It won't deter suicide bombers because they want to die anywhere. And we're, we're repeatedly told yeah. that the great threat are now Islamists who uh, don't mind losing their life. So the Cold War's uh, over. Well, it's ditch gone. the Cold War weapon. There's 100, 195 countries in the world. Only nine have nuclear weapons. Us, along with the Russians, the French, the Chinese, Indians, Pakistanis, North Koreans, Israelis, and the Americans. We don't need these. You couldn't. You could. It's an immoral weapon. You could not. Mm. You could not kill millions of innocent people, which you would if you pressed the button. So Cor I think Corbyn's position is very consistent over the period. <laughs> now, because he because he is leader of the Labour Party, is yeah. why it's oh, the remembered issue. that. And he has the, and he has he has a problem with his new politics. You have lots of debate. I suspect he didn't want this this much debate, but he has he has a problem that if they're all arguing. 
And they're all contradicting each other. No, Nobody's yeah. going to get yeah. hurt. This gonna... is just one, one issue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, this, yeah. and, this, and there are more to and this, come. And this, yeah. new politics, right. this new politics he talks about, it isn't the new politics. It's taken us right back to the 1980s when Labour tore itself apart over whether it should or shouldn't be multilateral or unilateral. He's taken them right back. Right. Splits galore. I can't recall on the last day of a Labour conference in recent history where three, four, even five shadow cabinet members mm. effectively said their leader is an idiot. I, I remember the 1980s and your leader, Maggie Thatcher, tore Britain Did apart. Marvellously. And, least, and I mean, she won three general ab elections. Absolutely and terrible. in the 19... You wouldn't, you wouldn't, say, that if, general you, you wouldn't say that if you were from a coalfield area five or an shadow, industrial five area. Five shadow cabinet members. Come on denouncing yeah. the leader of the opposition but, but, today. But, He's forgotten the 1990s yeah, when, when the Tories uh, drew themselves apart over Europe. Yeah, he, he normally goes back to the uh, 1880s, isn't it? That's where he's stuck with his uh, mindset. But the, the, it is difficult for Labour, but let's, let's, re let's <laughs> remember... Understatement of the let's, night. Let's remember, though, Understatement. All, all parties are very big, broad churches, and the Tories are split yeah. over Europe. We know there are eight cabinet ministers who would like to be yeah. out and when the, Cameron wants to the stay red, in. The red flag brought back. Um, yes. How long was that ditched it's, for under... It was Tony only a Blair. short while, actually. He's been back uh, for some time. He the knows end. the words inside out. It's all right. Not and bad. back to front. Are you going to sing it I to don't us? know. People's flag. <laughs> see ya. That's all right. People's flag is deep as red. It's trying off to mark the dead. I can see. Never Did you do music at school? Gold. Did you do singing at school? Well, you were chorister. <laughs> Clearly not. It's interesting, it. isn't it, though? Oh, Old Comrade Corbyn, the, beard, the bearded the Bolshevik, knew the words home. off by heart, mm. sang them enthusiastically. Will he sing the national anthem so enthusiastically yeah. next time? Because his aides say to, to be he honest, will. To be his honest, say he will. He didn't look that enthusiastic. Mm. Uh, what, what do you think about how rattled he is um, getting at media probing now? And, you know, and how irritated he's sounding by people asking questions. Yeah, like it's funny this. that leader of the opposition yeah. being asked but questions he, about their policy it, it, positions. It's interesting. Ne next week uh, in Manchester, Cameron mm. will be tightly controlled by a, a Praetorian guard who will stop TV cameras getting to him unless they're pre-arranged uh, interviews. That, Labour aren't doing that with Corbyn. Partly, it's his, his style. Yeah. He just likes to wander yeah. around. But Partly they it's because they haven't got the the organisation, the people there saying, look, go, go this way, don't go that way. So it, it looks incredibly messy. I, uh, I agree, there's, no, I there's say, no doubt about can that. Can I say, this but new not, politics will last about one more week. They will, they will gag him, but, they will make him buy a decent suit instead of that scruffy old, no, no, look, scruffy old minute, woodwork teacher's jacket he had on well, yesterday. Maybe he needs a bit of protection. The yeah, maybe he could learn how to tie the a minute, tie. The minute Corbyn is another slimy politician with slick back hair in a £1,000 suit, he's finished. Mm. Uh,